In the last video, I talked about anthropomorphization, which is to make something human-like, essentially. And now, in this one, I'm gonna talk about dehumanization, which is taking away the qualities of a human or putting non-human qualities onto a human. This is a really dangerous thing we do as humans because we're taking out the humanity from a person which allows us to be a little bit more hard-hearted hard towards them. You start to think of them as like an animal. An example of this is slavery, which was horrible and terrible. And you, you think, well, why would anyone ever do that? And it's dehumanization. It's, they started to see this race or this culture as less than human and started to think of them as animals. And so, yeah, you can go and work just like the horses do. And that's horrible, but it's also a somewhat natural thing to do if you're not careful. We do it all the time. And now, don't get me wrong, I'm not talking about slavery. I'm talking about dehumanization. Think about think about if you've ever had road rage. Road rage. I'm sure you have. We all have. You don't you don't typically think about the person driving the car. You see the car, you think and you start to be upset with the car. And then you start to be upset with the person driving the car. Which and that little gap allows you to have a bit harder of feelings towards the person without feeling bad about it. Uh, we also do this on social media, um, some more than others. If you've ever seen a long comment thread where people are just arguing and calling each other names that you really hope they would never say to somebody's face and often they wouldn't, but people do it all the time because through a computer, you don't see the human on the other side. You just see a computer and you start to get upset with how that computer and the and what you're reading is making you feel and so you start to lash out. Not always take into account that that person on the other side is a person. And we also do this all the time when we say uh, that man is a pig or, or you smell like a skunk or even he's not really the, the sharpest tool in the shed. Those are all ways that we take away a little bit of someone's humanity so that we don't feel so bad about what we're saying about them. And now where this gets really dangerous is as global leaders do it. So I'll read a quick quote and I'll have it on the screen as well. The inverse process of anthropomorphism is dehumanization, whereby people fail to attribute human-like human qualities to other humans and treat them like non-human animals or objects. Le Camer Rouge, I don't know if I'm saying that right, for instance, described their victims as worms. Nazi propaganda depicted Jews as vermin, and Rwandan Hutus described the Tutsis as cockroaches. As so you see why this is dangerous, is you start to take away the humanity of someone, and that makes it really easy for you to cause a war, or genocide even. So we gotta be really careful when we're thinking about a person. A person is a person, no matter how small as Horton says in Horton Here's a Who. Next time that you have road rage or you're on Facebook and you just don't have very nice feelings about the person that has wronged you, remember that they're a person and then allow yourself to feel what you feel. I'm not saying it's not okay to be angry, it's not okay to be upset when someone wrongs you, but at least be realistic and view them as a person first.